Ladies and gentlemen, it is time for another time of March Madness. We came to you a couple weeks ago and launched March Madness, and since then, it's well, it's been madness. Whether you're talking about PayProTech and all the partners that have been submitting new business to PayProTech, or you're talking about on the court where teams like Oakland come on out of the woodwork in Yale and win games, and then we get to the Sweet 16 and it seems to be all chalk. But we're going to talk about March Madness. We've got to bring the man, the myth, the legend, the originator of really the hype. I don't know that he originally came up with it, but he is the hype, the energy, and the power behind everything that is the madness of March, the bonuses, the extra deals, the $10,000 prizes, and now what we're calling the buzzer beater, Mr. Danny Shard from Glenwood Springs, Colorado. How is life there? Uh, are you going to ever get spring over there? It, it was cold this morning. It was snowing on my way into the office again. And uh, yeah, March 26th, we're still getting snow here. Um, Got to love Colorado in the spring, you know, end of winter, you know, whatever you want to call it. It seems like it's dragging on. Um, and I would love to to know, Nate, I think it was you that created March Madness, um, or at least had the original concept, but I, I don't remember that far <laughs> I back. Had, I, don't, I don't remember seven. that at all either. I, I, I know, yeah, I, it's now been 10 years, so who knows what, what it's, it's all been, right. you know, that I, I don't remember exactly how it came, but I know it's out of our love and it makes sense as an Indiana uh, founded company uh, that we would be all in even when our teams don't actually make the madness of March. We're all in on watching it and celebrating it and let's celebrate our partners. And it's a great way to end the first quarter because sometimes it's some people get a little slow after Christmas. I don't think we've had that this year, which has been your take. I mean, certainly by our numbers, we know that it hasn't slowed down. We're, we're continuing to see up year over year growth. Uh, but, What's your general pulse of where people are? Is there? And we got one week left of our first quarter here, less than one week. Yeah, I mean everybody, uh, everybody that I'm talking to is really positive. Obviously, uh, spring break is is happening right now, so I think a lot of people are are excited about taking that break or having already taken that break. This week is spring break here um, for all the kids, so I- I'm working. My kids are off having fun. So, um, but yeah, it's. Uh, I think everybody everybody's kind of looking to get through the first quarter. And, and yeah, the, the whole concept of this was around basketball and around, you know, the tournament, which we're all really big fans of. And I know Matt Hoskins had a, a huge part in, in it now that I think back in the in the first March Madness. But what he probably didn't realize is that we were going to carry that into a, an annual thing every year. So what was once a, a quick promotion is now a fixture of PayProTech. And uh, where Danny Shard was once the biggest advocate for the biggest bonuses, now uh, now everybody on our team is the biggest advocate for the biggest bonuses. And in fact, you know, you, Nate, Paul, Billy are, uh, are surprising me about the amount of money that we're willing to throw out to partners. So it's, it's kind of developed in a way that it's... Uh, uh, gotten a lot of people hooked on it, our partners and our staff included. It's pretty cool. All right. Well, I, I appreciate it. Paul Kent's chatting at me. If anybody else can say whether they're hearing feedback, I don't see feedback. Everything's in the green on my end, and I hear Danny perfectly fine, but I can't be on the live stream and be the live stream at the same time. So if anybody's I'm watching chat, uh, interaction, thank you guys for who's joining us live. I know more people watch us afterwards in the live, especially on something we just announced yesterday. In fact, we didn't come up with the idea, what, 16 hours ago, something like that. This, so I do roll pay project. this is the first year, because we said it yesterday, Nate, this is the first year that we've had promotions within the promotion, right? It's something yep. that you came up with, which I really love. And it makes Mar- it makes this madness of March bonus just that much more exciting, right? It's like, okay, here's the, the concept and what you're going to look forward to all month long. Um, but Nate, you're making it really fun by throwing all these weekly bonuses in and ways for partners to earn extra. We've never done that before. So it keeps getting crazier and crazier. It's madness. Well, and it keeps you on our toes. The idea is for you guys to engage with us. And we'll even just, I'll just do a little housekeeping to remind you. You can go to mypaprotech.com slash March or just go to mypaprotech.com and click on the big banner. You're going to get to this page. You're going to see our week one announcement was boom. Hey, you don't just have to ha- have... 10,000 or to $50,000. But if you have a hundred thousand dollar merchant, you get an extra five grand. That worked out pretty well. Week two announcement was a limited announcement. And as several people I saw, I was looking, a few of our partners jumped in. If they submitted three new deals,
deals in that week. They got an extra $500 per each one of those deals and above. Um, we had several partners I know are jumping on that. These Again, all these merchants have to be activated. That's always a rule. Uh, we don't make money unless they're processing, and that's where you make money too. We all make money together. Uh, the week three announcement, um, sorry too late, another one that you can't you kind of missed out on that um, it's $10,000 drawing. We have several people that are still in it. Um, some people that chose teams like Virginia that went out in the pre four. Sorry, I don't even remember who it was, but I remember looking at the list and said that was a bad choice, but it was literally just simply give us three deals in the last half of March and then choose the right team. You can win $10,000. Um, some people are still in the winning of that. And then uh, what we've done, this was the original every uh, 500 to $2,000 bonus. I'm not going to go into all that, but Danny, but Danny, now we're, we called it the buzzer beater and we announced it yesterday, an opportunity to double up yourself one time this last week. Um, kind of talk about what that looks like. I'll give, I can give the, the, you know, playlist later, but can you tell us a little bit of what you would do? What would you do if you were day to day, put your hat on into the, your back on the street, making the phone calls, trying to work with these merchants directly, trying to get one over the finish line this last week. What would you do when you have a buzzer beater to have that, to be able to double one bonus this week? What would you do? Yeah. So, I mean, Nate, you gave a, such a great example in the announcement yesterday about it. And, you know, I think as, as we're looking at deals this week, and as you're considering, if you, maybe you've got a merchant um, with another provider, but you're looking to get them into a better solution, you want to get them a better home with paper tech, um, you know, and you're, you're considering moving them over and they're higher volume, now's the time to do it. Um, I, what I love about this is we're putting you guys in the driver's seat, right? So you get to select the bonus that you want to double down on and have a buzzer beater bonus paid out. So make it worth your while. So Nate, if you if you can pull that graphic up real quick, and we can kind of show some of the some of the options that you'll have, right? So looking at obviously cluster is going to pay you the most, right? Um, the larger POS deals are going to pay you the most, and then cluster is going to give you give you an additional thousand. So say for example, you're looking to board a higher volume over fifty thousand dollar cluster merchant, you're going to get two thousand on that right column, and then an additional thousand because it's cluster. So we're still within our cluster bonus that we're that we're paying out. You choose the buzzer beater. That's six thousand, like like we showed in that email yesterday. Now, if you're going to submit a few deals this week, obviously make it be the higher one. So be uh, so be selective, be smart whenever you do this. Obviously, make sure your merchants activate, like Nick said, uh, but make sure you're selecting the right merchant to pay out your buzzer beater. Um, you know, you're going to want to make sure you do this, obviously, whenever you're entering it in and you're submitting it so we can pay those bonuses and select the right merchant. You know, if you don't click the box, you don't get the buzzer beater. Right. So we're putting in the driver's seat to select it, but you're also in the driver's seat to, to make sure you get it. So follow through with that, select the right merchant and make it a big one so you can get paid big time on these bonuses. Yeah. And I mean, some of it's a rush and you've got to have the merchant in the right place. I'll bring both of us up here. But one of the things... Um, I was thinking, I wrote an email to one of our partners last night and they were asking what was a bonus going to be? And they were working on a cluster deal. And I was, uh, I think it's like one thirty this morning, sending, finally got to that email and was sending it off to them. And we had put an <laughs> estimate together for them and they asked what they made. And it dawned on me when I wrote it, I was like, if you pr put it in this week, it's worth literally six K you put it in on Monday, no extra bonuses. Right. Um, so make that make that rush if you choose that as a buzzer beater or at least it's worth at least 3k if it's a because this was a merchant that was doing a they sent us a statement for the last month and was doing eighty four thousand dollars it was a no-brainer we were able to cover most of the hardware it was going to be and we'll see what that partner is able to do and we have several that are in the cluster we have several they're doing hot sauce we have several there but choose your best deal and focus on that and maximize this last week and uh, when we when you get that bonus paid out obviously it's after they activate um man that could be some really good money to start off our summer. I'll take an extra. Plus, it's, that's on, on top of all the other bonuses. That's what I think people forget. This is on top of regular bonuses, right? I mean, Danny, I'm glad that, you mentioned that's that. insane, I was, right? It's insane. I'm glad you mentioned it because I was literally about to say it. So in that in that deal, you know, it's dual pricing. That one that we were just talking about that Nate had in our, in our example email yesterday, right? Dual pricing on cluster, you know, at that volume, you're going to cap out on our standard peak bonus, which doesn't go away, you're going to get 300 up front, you're going to get a $4,700 bonus because they're going to cap out on the true up. And then in this example, 
this week with the double down buzzer beater, you're going to get an additional $6,000 on this cluster merchant. That's doing $60,000 a month, $50,000 a month. You're going to get $11,000 in bonuses in the next 90 days. And then plus you're going to get that residual, you know, anywhere from 500 to a thousand, depending on what that volume is and, and higher from there. So uh, this is massive money, massive opportunity. Take advantage of it. Uh, every year, it seems like we're getting more and more aggressive and the numbers are silly. I, I do wish I had Brian Linky on here because I love hearing him talk about how crazy we are for giving this amount of money. Um, you know, shout out to Brian Linky. But uh, this is uh, this is something that we've never done before. The bonus within the bonus, the double down, putting you in the driver's seat, select your bonus um, to earn double on. So take advantage of it. I can't stress this enough. You got one week left. Make as much money as you can. So on February 14th, we launched Cluster Love and we started talking about Cluster. And then on February 28th and on the 29th, we officially launched the Madness of March. Uh, it's been a busy six weeks. I feel like I've been run over by a truck personally at some times, but it's been wonderful and we're excited about it. Let's talk specifically about Cluster. We mentioned that earlier. Um, and I, I noticed this morning, I was pulling up some numbers and we have still had uh, a lot of people have questions about how cluster fits in with POS lead. And I've been saying, I would click coin the phrase consider cluster first when it comes to restaurants. Um, and I saw just today, somebody had put a lead in directly. And if they, if you have a cluster lead and it goes to POS team, it'll come over directly to cluster, uh, through the system that we've created. But what have you learned in these first six weeks of doing cluster kind of getting ourselves off the ground? What would you say to our partners of, of why they should consider cluster first? Yeah, I mean, so the, the system in general, I, I, I love it. Um, obviously, I, I think you've heard me in previous webinars. I've personally set one up um, and it was a really cool experience. The merchant absolutely loves it. Um, the process is something that we've still been working through. And, you know, Nate, Jason Lee, myself, the team at Cluster, all of us here have really been uh, working to, to make it as best of an experience as possible, not just for you, but for merchants um, as well. So getting updates. Knowing where we stand, Ashley, Doug, the team at Cluster have been phenomenal working with all of you guys that have submitted the leads and getting these opportunities into the flow. Um, so, I mean, I think it's just something that if you haven't tried it yet, we're giving you additional incentive to do it. Um, what are you waiting for is my question, right? It's a really cool system. It's a new team. It's a new process um, that I think you're going to find is refreshing. Nothing against Matt Proctor and all of our other systems. We sell a lot of them and Proctor and all of the POS pros, Caitlin, Tim, Alex, they're phenomenal to work with. Um, Cluster is kind of a, is just a unique experience that we're, that we're seeing and partners are really enjoying it. And it's just something different. Um, the system itself though, is I think something that you're really going to, going to hook to once you sell one. So try it out. Um, I think you're really going to appreciate it and uh, you're going to make a lot more money doing it right now while we're promoting it. Yeah, and I, and I would say one of the things I've learned from working with our partners is, and, and I, this is true really the POS pros too when we do it. One, make sure you've actually talked to a merchant. What we've learned is, and part of us getting in hands involved day to day uh, with some of our POS leads that we maybe don't, uh, that, the, that Matt and his team take care of for us a lot of times, is partners – this is a team to come alongside and help you sell, not totally sell for you. And you should don't just walk into a restaurant, grab their contact information and throw them on a lead form. Um, start that relationship. Talk to them about cluster and say, will you be would you consider sitting through a demo and then put the cluster lead dot com? Or if you're like, man, I, I, I just need a little more information. Put the lead in, put in the notes that you're just looking to collect information because you want to know how cluster hands this handles this, this and this. And, but be ready to respond right away because you're going to get a contact fairly quickly. And usually within the first two hours, I was looking yesterday at our notes section, somebody from cluster is contacting you within those first two hours. But if you don't get contacted, you get pushed back to the end of the line. So make sure you respond. And a lot of that can be um, great job. Kurt, he sent me a free guy yesterday. He was working and he actually texted him from, and he texted right back. And that meant last night I was able to send him we got a proposal and a red, ready contract from putting it in in the morning to the evening. That was like 18 hours. We can do it that fast if you respond and interact and engage with us. And it's a great system to be set yourselves apart because it really is helping us, um, you know, set ourselves in a world of 
all the different types of POS systems installing in restaurants. It gives us something that is a little bit different. And I encourage you also, and a lot of you have been doing it, coming to our office hours on Thursday. If you haven't been on that, you can email me. Uh, the link's always, always, that section is in the um, my paper tech section of the cluster part. But let's go back, Danny. What do we think uh, is our closing words? We're down to, you know, we're starting, <laughs> we're in the last quarter, you know. Um, last night I watched uh, Caitlin Clark and the Iowa women Hawkeyes, you know, squeak one out against West Virginia. We'll see what they look like. My family's all become huge Caitlin Clark fans. We love watching her. And one of the things I've noticed that, that I like about the that college men's basketball doesn't have is that they returned to quarters several years ago. It's been a while, the women's basketball, and why men's done new quarters. And I love, we're in that quarter, and we can focus on just on those 10 minutes. When you're, you're smack dab in that last seven minutes of the game right here for the month of March, what are your closing words for our paper tech family? Yeah. I, yeah. Yeah. Caitlin Clark is fun to watch. She's definitely gotten more animated as, uh, as she's uh, gotten more popular, I would say. Um, and I didn't realize they did the quarters thing either. So that's cool. I'm going to say we're in the last 10 minutes of the game, second half. Um, and it's, it's prime time right now is when we're really starting to stretch. We're really starting to press. Uh, we're starting to get those deals in. And I think, you know, as you guys saw in the in the uh, in the image that Nate showed, if you haven't seen the March Madness stuff yet, which I think most of you on here have, you need to get in, in there. You need to make sure you're opted in. Make sure you know the process to receive those bonuses. Know what you're missing out on if you submit these deals next week. Um, so take advantage of it this week. Finish strong um, and really try to get the best deals in and pick your double up buzzer beater. Uh, the smartest way that you can to earn the most money that you can. So um, we're here to help you reach out to us. If you're on spring break, feel free to deal with um, Let us know how we can help you as, uh, as you're finishing out March and Speedway. As we close out, we're here to walk alongside you. Shoot, that music cut us off. I was trying to play a little closing music, but it cut me off. <laughs> it's all right. Imagine there's music the playing. It's, imagining it's one, you know, one shining moment, your last chance. You're going to make that shot. Let's make this the best, best last week of March you could possibly can. So we're going into April and the beginning of the second quarter at an incredible high. And really how you finish a quarter is how you start the next quarter. And uh, I, for me, I love kind of looking at my our year and quarters. And this is a great opportunity to kick it off. Go in there. Make the most of it. We're here to help. Reach out to partners at Paper tech.com reach out to your relationship manager reach out to myself danny anyone you want to make a comment we'll try to engage as fast as you can just if you have questions you have things you want to do we're here to help any way we can thank you so much uh let's make this buzzer beater let's i i want to see some creative last minute deals um and lastly for those anyway we've got a couple people um Anyone who emails, first three people that watch this and email me, I'll send you a swag box. That's nmanahan at payprotech.com. Uh, you probably already have my email, but you can email me and just, and I'll tell the first three in my inbox when I get off this thing, I'll be able to send you, I'm going to send you a swag box of some new PPT swag. And uh, we're so thankful that you guys watch, those who are watching live, those who are watching after. Danny Shard, thank you very much. We'll see you very soon next in the next couple of weeks uh for those also i'm gonna let one last thing if you're going to be at neaa i'm personally going to be there i'd love to meet with you if you guys are going to be at neaa and uh, beautiful albany new york which is hosting the women's uh regional i was going to be playing see it's congruity all over there uh, i'll be there next tuesday through friday and then if you're going to be if you're in the long island area i'm spending a couple uh, two days after that in long island meeting with a couple partners love to hang out with you there thank you guys very much thanks all who watched we'll see you next time this has been our march madness update see you guys double it up